In this particular example, I have this bobcat, Bob the bobcat, right smack dab in the center of my photograph. He's looking to our left, and in a perfect world, what I should have done was giving him more space on the left-hand side since he's looking towards his left. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, why don't you just crop it? The problem with cropping this image is if I were to crop it to where I actually really want him, you'll notice that on the right side of the cat, there's really not that much space. In this type of situation, I'm creating tension to the viewer, and that's not really what I want. What I would prefer is to maybe have space such as this with a little bit more room on the left. As mentioned before, the problem is I didn't photograph the picture this way. So if I were to do this, you have that big empty white space on the left. So in this video, I'm going to show you a really quick tip on how we can use content aware scale to extend the photograph, giving you the illusion that I photographed it perfectly the way I should have. The first thing I'm going to do is unlock the layer that I'm working on. I can do this by simply clicking on the lock on the layer and then I'm going to crop it to my heart's desire. Now if I were to do nothing further I could simply head on up to edit content aware scale and begin the process of scaling this image out by pulling it to the left filling in the area that I wanted to expand. The problem with doing something like this is that often your subject matter will get distorted so what we need to do is protect the subject matter that's most important in this photograph. You'll see that there's a feature to do this it's called protect and if I open it it simply says none meaning Meaning that nothing has been identified to be protected. So before you use content aware scale, the first thing we need to do is we need to identify what subject matter we want to protect. So I'm going to head on over to my quick selection tool and make a selection of Bob. Now this doesn't need to be perfect by any means, but get it as close as possible. Once you've made the selection, you're going to head on over to your channels palette. If you don't see channels, simply go on up to windows and choose channels. Once inside the channels, you're going to head down, click on this little square with a circle in it. Once you do that, you'll see a new channel has popped up called Alpha 1. From here, we can go to Select and Deselect. Now, when we head back to our layers, go to Edit, Content Aware Scale, and when we look in our options under Protect, you will notice that now there is a new feature called Alpha 1. That's telling us what's being protected. Select it. And now, as you scale this image out, you'll notice that nothing happens to Bob. He is completely protected, and we hit Enter. I should probably mention that using this technique does have its limitations. Don't think that just because you can use this feature you can extend your picture to the left or to the right an infinite amount of area. That's simply not true. But in this case adding a small amount either to the left or to the right or both the left and right of a photograph is really not that difficult. I'd say it's like magic. And that's our tip of the week. If you like this video, be sure to comment, like, or subscribe to our channel where we will be putting out new tips each and every week.